What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I have a random haul for you. I like to do these like once a month or so and kind of just throw everything that I have purchased or gotten over the past month into one giant haul. Most of the stuff in today's video is going to be from Amazon, Pretty Little Thing, and Lovely and Blush. As always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. So with that being said, let's hop into it. So the first outfit I have on right now, this is from Amazon, and I'm wearing this in a size small. So if you're familiar with my channel, you probably know I love me a matching set. I just, I love matching sets. I don't know why, but I do. And I realized I don't have a lot of black matching sets. Like I was trying to like match just like random black tops and bottoms together, but it just didn't really go well when it's like not the exact same material. Um, so I found this one on Amazon. So it's just a little like bandeau top, but it does have um, a strap to like keep it up. And then a high rise midi skirt with a big slit up the side and a little bit of ruching and a tie here. The material is super stretchy and comfortable. Absolutely love this. I feel like this would be so cute for a night out, um, literally anywhere. Like you could wear this in Miami, you could wear this in Vegas, but like this, because it's black and black is kind of like understated, this is something that I would even wear out like in Denver. Um, but I think it is adorable and I have a couple trips coming up and I will definitely be wearing this on one of the trips. Um, and then I paired it with these heels. I've actually talked about these heels before on here. These are a block heel. Um, they are so freaking comfortable and I've worn these several times. I absolutely love them. Um, so I will link these. And this outfit actually is a Shein outfit that I was sold on Amazon. So there's actually a lot of Shein stuff that gets sold on Amazon um, and it just ships a lot faster because it's already here like in the US and it's like prime two day shipping, you know? So yeah, there is a lot of Shein stuff on Amazon if you don't wanna wait for Shein shipping times. The next thing that I got from Amazon is this little beige cutout dress and I got this in a size small. So these cutout dresses have been everywhere recently and I am here for them. I actually tried another one from Amazon, but the chest area barely covered the girls. It just did not work. Um, and then I tried this one and I really, really like this one. Um, so there is a little O-ring detail right here. And then the back is adjustable back here, which I absolutely love. I love an adjustable back. And then open back and a slit um, up the back, but it's not too short like my butt isn't popping out or anything and midi length i feel like this would be super cute for a vacation like if you went to mexico or again in miami i don't know why i just always am like somewhere warm somewhere tropical i just feel like a dress like this just works in those places um but yeah super cute love it and then i paired it with these espadrille sandals that I also got from Amazon. Let me take one off. These are the sandals. I absolutely love espadrille sandals. I have a um, like tan, like nude tan beige pair and I have a black pair and I didn't have a white pair and so I wanted to try them. And these are very similar to the Steve Madden um, ones that kind of look just like this, but these cost like a third of the price. And these are so freaking comfortable and the reviews were really good on these. Um, and I've worn these a couple times and I love them. I also did want to show you a, another pair of sandals that I got from Amazon. Um, these like white, lace up sandals. I feel like lace up stuff is super, super in right now. I have a pair of like black lace up sandals and these are my absolute favorite. These are from Sam Edelman. I will link these as well. These ones are kind of old um, and I wanted to get these in white, but I don't think they have them in white, um, but absolutely love these. So I saw these and I thought that they were like kind of similar, um, but in white. So I got these and I think they're very cute. These are super affordable too. These were like $18. Okay, another pair of shoes that I got from Amazon are we noticing a trend here? I guess I'm obsessed with white 
shoes these days. I don't know why, um, but I just feel like they're so clean looking. Um, I don't, <laughs> they're, they're so clean looking. That's my explanation, I guess. Um, but I wanted a pair of white slides because I have black slides, um, but with like some other outfits, I just feel like white looks a little bit better. Um, so I found these New Balance white slides on Amazon. I wanted them to be all white. It was kind of hard to find all white slides without like a big logo here like these have the logo on them but they're they're like whited out the, the logo is white <laughs> um so i got these um and i definitely would recommend sizing up in these they do run a little small i read the reviews so i did size up a size in these and then jewelry that i've gotten from amazon recently um i got a pack of huggy hoop earrings which i absolutely love for just like an everyday earring that like you can just keep in and you can sleep in and shower in so it's a pack of like i think like six different um pairs and they're like different sizes so if you have like several different piercings like all of your ear you can put them all in um and then i also got a another pair of huggies that have these little snakes dangling from them and i thought that that was so cute and then i also got a pack of um rings so it's these like chunky um statement rings that maybe you'd call them um but these like chunky like this like croissant one like these are so in right now and for me personally like a lot of jewelry I don't wear it regularly enough to spend a ton of money on it especially rings I always take my ring like I never sleep in my rings I always take them off I don't shower in them don't work out in them um, so I don't really care if it's like super high quality my rings um, but these came in a pack of three there's one other um, one that's kind of similar to this but like smooth um, a pack of three for like nine dollars or something like that so cheap like literally so much affordable jewelry on Amazon the next thing that I got are my very first pair of Jordans. I finally caved. I gave in. I know they're so freaking trendy and I was like, I don't really want those. And then I was like, you know what? I do want them. And I got them and I freaking love them. They're actually so comfortable. Um, I feel like they're so cute with like a pair of like bike shorts and an oversized t-shirt or I wore them, I'll like insert a picture. I wore them with like an all black romper and that romper is also from Amazon and I will link that romper or a pair of like oversized jeans or oversized sweatpants. They're just so, it just looks so cool. And Jordans do run true to size and a lot of them sell out like super quickly when they launch. So I got these on StockX and I will link the StockX link for these. StockX is a website where they like verify all the shoes on there that they're like verified authentic. They're not like a fake dupe shoe. Um, so I've gotten like Yeezys off of there before. Um, any like type of shoe that's like super hyped up and expensive and sells out really quickly, it's a good idea, um, especially because you usually end up paying a little bit more for them like after they've sold out. Um, it's a good idea to make sure that they're verified authentic. Otherwise you might be buying a dupe shoe and that would not be good um so yeah i got these on StockX. these were like one of the cheapest pairs um for the like women's ones obviously you can buy men's just do like the size conversion to women's but i actually really like the coloring of these obviously it's super neutral and i'm a big neutrals girl it's just like white like cream and black um so yeah I really like these and they really weren't too expensive. Um, these were, I think I wanna say around $200, which obviously that is expensive, but compared to like Yeezys I bought off StockX and some of the other Jordans that are on there and compared to how much these are when they launch, like I believe when these launch, they're around 150, I wanna say. So really it wasn't like the price was jacked up super high. Okay, up next we have some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. And the first thing is this matching set and I'm wearing both the top and the skirt in a size four. So this top is kind of like a corset top. It does have some wiring in the front, so it's like structured. Um, and the straps are adjustable and it zips up in the back. Um, it only comes down to like about here. Um, so it is like full length, but it's not like super long. And then the skirt, as you can see, is kind of like draped and it has a slit up the side and it zips up right here. Um, so it kind of looks like a dress when you wear it together, but it is two pieces. 
is. Um, and I wore this to an event this past weekend and holy crap, I have never gotten so many compliments on something that I have worn. Like people were stopping me left and right. Like, oh my God, where did you get that? That's so cute. Um, so definitely, definitely would recommend. I was eyeing it on the Pretty Little Thing website for a while. I think it's a super, super popular piece on their website because this set comes in a ton of different colors and prints. Um, most of them are this kind of like tie-dye print, um, but some of them are a little bit different, um, but it comes in a lot of different prints and colors. So if you're not a huge fan of this one, um, it does come in other ones. Um, but yeah, definitely think it's super popular and for good reason. I also feel like this would be cute to wear um, to a wedding as like a wedding guest um, because it's cute. I like how it's, it's like structured up here, but then it isn't super like skin tight. Like the skirt is a little bit like flowy and drapey um, and it is very forgiving because it has the drape going on you know what I mean um, but yeah definitely would recommend I will say if you are in between sizes I would size up in this um, I am wearing this in a size 4 um, and I probably could have done a size 6 um, I'm okay with the 4 but like if this skirt was any tighter I would not be able to breathe like the skirt does not have stretch in it the top has a like a little bit of stretch actually it's pretty pretty much not stretchy um so yeah it's not super forgiving um so if you are in between sizes i would size up but yes i think this is so cute okay the next thing that i got from pretty little thing are these white jeans and i'm wearing these in a size six So again, if you are familiar with my videos, you probably know that I'm not sold on the whole like baggy jean trend. And these ones aren't too baggy. They are just like more like straight, um, but I actually really like them. They are high rise. I feel like they do make the booty look pretty nice. Um, and these I actually got from the tall section of Pretty Little Thing because a lot of times when I buy jeans intending for them to be a little bit more like oversized and super full length, they they just are not because I'm 5'7". So I'm like on the shorter side of being tall, if that makes any sense. Um, so I did get these in the tall section and holy cow, they were super long. Like if you are six feet tall or if you have crazy long legs, the tall section, oh my gosh, it would be perfect for you. Um, these were definitely way too long for me, so I cut them. Um, I take scissors to my clothes all the time and so I feel very comfortable doing that and I love a raw edge hem on um, a pair of jeans anyway so I was super fine with just cutting them to the length that I wanted them to be but what I really like about Pretty Little Thing is they have a tall regular and a petite section on their website and then of course they have like plus size stuff as well but I do like that they have options um, for each like height because obviously it's hard to make a pair of jeans to fit someone that's five feet tall and someone that's six feet tall. You know what I mean? Um, so I love that they have different like height options. But yeah, and these do not have stretch to them, which is also crazy because I do not like wearing jeans that don't have stretch, um, but they're comfortable and they're, they actually like fit. Like they're not too tight on my thighs. Um, they don't like gape super bad in the waist. Like they gape like a tiny bit, but not bad at all. Um, so these actually work quite well and I was very pleasantly surprised. Okay, and then these jeans I also got from the tall section of Pretty Little Thing and I'm wearing these in a size six. So these ones are a little bit more oversized than the um, white ones, but not by much. Um, but these ones do have the knee cutouts and they also were um, definitely too long. So I did cut these as well. Um, and both of the ones that I got had um, like side slits. I love a side slit jean. Like if you're gonna do the straight leg, I don't know why, I just really like the side slit. Um, so I did like recut the side slits um, at the like new length that I had cut them to. Um, but I absolutely love these. Again, nice and high rise. They don't really gape at the waist. Um, they don't have stretch. And like I said, I usually stay away from stuff like that, but these, 
work. And then this top, my Instagram has definitely seen. Um, this is from Lovely and Blush. It is just a little like satin, silky crop top with a deep V right here, and adjustable straps and a like hook closure back. I think this top is so cute. Makes the girls look great. Um, I am wearing this in a size small and I do believe this top is sold out right now, but there is a chance that they will restock it. I feel like there's a good chance with any of their most popular items that sell out super quickly that they will restock them So I really really hope that they do restock this top because I absolutely love it and I think everyone needs it <laughs> And then with lovely blush if you do make any purchase my support code is Shannon so thank you so much if you choose to use my support code with them And I did just want to mention really quickly that a lot of the stuff on lovely blush does sell out pretty quickly because it is a small business and they only stock like very like minimal amounts of, of clothing because that's usually what you do when you first start out. You can't stock like a ton of stuff. Um, it's just smarter to like be a little bit more careful with how much you stock so you don't make yourself go out of business stocking too much. Um, so some of this stuff may be sold out that I'm about to show you, especially by the time this video goes up um, because stuff does sell out pretty quickly. Um, but with any of these pieces, there is a good chance that they will come back in stock because if they're sold out, that probably means that they're popular. Um, and there always is super cute stuff on the website too. So even if you can't get exactly what I'm showing you at this time, there are plenty of other super cute options on there. So let's go into more lovely blush. Okay, up next is this super cute little crop top also from lovely and blush. And I'm also wearing this in a size small. So I love this. You can wear it a couple different ways. The material is like super silky and stretchy. So you can crisscross it in the front or you can like, like twist it and do like one of those like twists. Um, and then, or you could just wear it like strapped straight up and down. Um, it is a very sexy, I feel like it makes the girls look good. Um, you can dress it down with a pair of like baggy jeans like these. Um, or if you're like going to Vegas or Miami or something, you could wear it with like a little skirt. Um, and it would definitely be a very cute like club outfit. Like if I were to wear this out in Denver, I would definitely wear it with a pair of baggy jeans. But if I'm going on vacay, I'll wear it with a cute little skirt. Okay, and then we have another cute little crop top from Lovely and Blush. And again, I'm wearing this in a size small. So it has a little knot detail right here and right here and a cutout and it ties in the back, super cute. Again, you can dress it down with jeans or you can dress it up with like a little skirt. I absolutely love it. Okay, I have one more and then I'll cool it with the crop tops. Um, again, I'm wearing this one in a size small. So again, this is one that you can tie um, just like straight into a halter top or you can do this cute little like crisscross detail. It like scrunches right here. Um, so you can kind of adjust um, where these straps lie and how much like coverage you have. And I love this like lime green color. Loving Blush always just has super, super cute tops on there. Um, very cute dresses and very cute tops. That is what I get the most from them. The next thing that I have from Lovely and Blush is this little ruched shoulder pad dress and I'm wearing this in a size small. So again, absolutely love this dress. It is ruched down here, which I love anything ruched, very forgiving, makes the booty look great. And it is long enough, which is very important to me. A lot of dresses that I get, if they are above the knee, are just way too short. And I feel like my butt's gonna pop out, but definitely not on this one. Um, and then I wasn't really sure how I felt about the shoulder pad thing but I'm actually okay with it. Um, and it is like higher neck up here, which I feel, and like looser, which I feel like kind of like tones it down a little bit. Like if this was just like a, like, you know, like spaghetti strap, like low cut dress, it would be very like va va boom. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be very, it'd be a little bit sexier. Um, but I definitely feel like since it's higher neck, it tones it down, um, which I'm a fan of having options that are a little bit more toned down. So love it. I will say um, this is sold out on the Lovely and Blush website right now. 
hoping that they restock um but i was on amazon the other day just like shopping around and i did see a very very similar dress um and I ordered it in a different color. Um, so hopefully I will have that soon. And if I like the Amazon one that I ordered, I will link it for you um, in the description box. Um, so it'll just say like similar shoulder pad dress. Um, so yeah. The next thing from Lovely and Blush is this black dress that I'm also wearing in a size small. So it's made from a lightweight, stretchy, flowy material, and it is a little higher cut in the front. Um, it definitely looks like pretty modest in the front. It is a midi dress, but then it has a slit up the side and a very open back, and these straps are adjustable, and you do like tie it back here. Um, it was a little loose. It didn't like provide as much support as I wanted, so I tied it back like pretty tight back there, um, but I think it's so cute. I feel like this is very business in the front, party in the back, um, but love it for summertime. I went to like lunch with a girlfriend the other day and I wore this, super comfortable, super cute. Um, like I said, Lovely Blush has tons of cute tops and cute dresses. Lots of cute stuff. Okay, and then the last things that I will show you from Lovely and Blush are jewelry. I got these little butterfly huggy hoops. I'm obsessed with huggies recently, huggies, and then especially huggies with a little like dangle charm, and I think the butterfly is so cute. Um, and then I also got these little lightning bolt earrings. I don't know if it's focusing, um, but these little lightning bolt earrings as well, which I also think are so cute. Um, so yeah, they have some cute jewelry on the site as well. Okay, and then the last thing that I figured I would throw in here um, is from the most recent Toluca Swim launch, the Monarch Collection. Um, this is the Amina top, and these are the Eva mini bottoms in a size medium, and the top is a size 30 to 32 D plus in the Monarch print. I just thought this suit was a super cute, um, very like strappy and love a side tie bottom. This is definitely one of my favorite suits that they've done. I feel like I might wear this in Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. I do have a Vegas trip coming up and I might wear this because it is super strappy. And I did receive another suit that I'm not even gonna bother showing you because it just like wasn't one of my favorites. Um, I do have a whole Toluca Swim review. Um, it's one of the last couple videos I posted on my channel. Um, and in that video, I go over all of the previous collections and all of my favorite um, suits from them. And a lot of those they've relaunched in this launch in new colors. Um, so you can go watch that if you want a more in-depth look at like all the different styles that they offer. But this was their last launch of the year. So I figured I would throw this suit in here in case any of you are in the market for a swimsuit. Anyway, that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have been a little bit off of my YouTube game. I've been feeling a little like I don't know, uninspired maybe. Um, so if you have any ideas of videos you would like me to film or brands you would like me to review, hauls you would like me to do, literally anything, any inspo, please give it to me because I'm just, I'm feeling a little like, you know, uninspired and I would love some inspiration. Um, so thank you so much again. I will get my act together and make some new videos soon. That is it for this video today and I will catch you next time. Bye.